afternoon. I'm Margot Murray, and when I titled this 90-second presentation, Focus Groups for Facts and Fun, I had no idea how much fun we'd have before we got to my session, so hold that thought. Focus Groups are well known uh, for their use in market research, and they're also useful, extremely valuable in getting your stakeholders' input and involvement in things like needs assessment and readiness assessment. If you want to involve the client, as was mentioned by a previous speaker, and get their commitment early on, include them in a focus group. They're adaptable. You can make quick changes on your feet, even if you didn't bring your flip charts, Eileen. And it encourages con consensus. However, you don't want to use them if you're looking for divergent opinions or for the broader spectrum. And they're easy to summarize. You do have this in your handout, so I'm going to go very fast. How am I doing? Good. Uh, in preparing, first of all, clarify the client's problem. Do they want to make a decision or are they just uh, wanting you to gather information? And then outline the topic questions that you'll use. Then recruit the participants. You're looking for the widest range of diversity and typically 6 to 10 or 12 people will be sufficient. Arrange the site and the equipment. If you're lucky enough to get a site that has one-way glass and recording equipment, that's very useful, but you'll want a backup of a note taker as well. Prepare the flip charts. What I typically do is put one question or topic at the very top of each flip chart page and then leave a blank page. And then as you capture the input from the participants, turn the page, don't keep them posted. You want them to focus on one question at a time. As you facilitate, explain the process. A focus group is not an open discussion. Guide the discussion and make sure you keep them on target and control the participation and yet have the flexibility to go back to earlier questions. And the rest of it you can read.